Hi Sagittarius, it's your girl Tarot Card Bay. I'm here to do your reading for You Made a Player Fall in Love. Long time no see. Um, I had to reduce the type of signs that I had in my rotation just because work life, tarot life balance. But a homegirl asked me to start doing Sagittarius reading. So if this reading goes well, if you guys like it and you want more, let me know. So I wanted to start with this reading. You made a player fall in love. <sighs> so I got a few things. A part of me told <laughs> was meant to tell you, Sagittarius, that some of you are the player and someone has made you fall in love. You know, player from the Himalayas, Sagittarius can do the thing if necessary. Um, and I also got for some of you, listen to your intuition. This is a very special month October is we have all kind of like new moons full moons eclipses lunar eclipses solar eclipses a lot of stuff is going on in October your intuition could be higher than normal for those of you who are tapping into your spirituality um, because of that you want to really be careful as far as who you connect with this is about the player but I, I had to tell you guys this but who you connect with what you tell them um, there may be people who are not as enlightened as you who try to maybe out talk your intuition. So, if, for example, if you say, mm, I don't know about the player, I get a, a weird vibe when I talk to this person. You may have a homegirl that says, oh, maybe you're overthinking it. And that person doesn't mean any harm. They're just not you. They don't feel what you feel. They don't feel what's in your body. They don't have your level of knowledge. So just keep those things in mind. So let's jump in. Sagittarius who made a player fall in love we're going to look into the player overall energy into the player we got six of swords so this is air sign energy Aquarius Libra Gemini someone has moved away to calmer water so you could be in a disconnection with the player right now swords in the boat thoughts emotions using the thoughts to move away from what they would consider rocky water so I do see that what else we have for the player? We have the lovers. That's your connection with the player. And then the five of pentacles came out. So yeah, there's a disconnection. There's a very strong connection that you and the player have. You could be dealing with a Gemini also. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there's a very strong connection. This is the type of connection that no matter how far you are, from each other you still feel very much connected to each other with this lover's energy the six of swords is moving away the five of pentacles is being left out in the cold so even with that energy at the center at the root of what's going on with the player and your energy is a connection so you guys could be communicating telepathically you could be thinking about this person a lot this person could be thinking about you but again this connection has not died even though there is distance Let's see, why is there a difference between Sagittarius and the player? Why is there a distance? Queen of Cups. Hmm. And let's clarify that. And the Four of Wands. Is this another person? Nine of Pentacles. Someone wants love. Someone wants the real deal. Someone wants something that's unconditional. Someone wants marriage. It's four of wands. Four of wands. This could be a twin flame connection. You could resonate with that for you and the player. Um, but someone is single. So I get that this could be you. This could be the player. More than likely, this is you, Sagittarius, who has this overwhelming cup of love, this unconditional love that you want to give to someone. And again, you want marriage. You strongly desire commitment and marriage with the nine of pentacles that is a single energy, but it's not just single, it's abundant. It's someone who is like at the top of their castle, on top of their game. They're surrounded by like a beautiful landscape. They're in a nice home. They're wearing a nice outfit. They're just missing that one pentacle, which would be their love interest to make 10 of pentacles. But this is what one person wants. Let's see what the player wants since we pulled your energy. So that's what's causing the dis disconnection. You want four of wands. Let's see what the player wants or wanted. 
Six of Wands. The player wants to win. The player does want a victory, but you see how the victories are different. The Four of Wands is a victory amongst two people. The Six of Wands is a victory with one person being victorious. Uh, we do get two sixes for the player. We got the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords. Six house energy. That is Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This person could be working on their health also, financial health, something like that, or actually physical health. Two of wands, two of wands here for what the player wants. A lot of fire energy on the player side. You could be dealing with the fire sign and two of pentacles. So this person is juggling paths, could be juggling two options as well. It's like this person doesn't know which path will give them victory. So this is like the energy of like Sagittarius, you being sure and the player not being sure. That's what I'm getting. Not sure about your connection or just not sure about what path they want or who they want, but you being sure of what you want. Let's clarify a little bit more for the player ace of cups <laughs> and the moon card you have this player's heart or this player has your heart or vice versa this is something that the player hides from you it's almost like they pretend to seek this ace of cups elsewhere but they know that the ace of cups is with you you could be dealing with the cancer scorpio pisces with the water sign and the moon card um and this person also has the ace of cups for you but for some reason they hide this why is the player hiding their love from sagittarius sun card sun card and the king of cups and the nine of wands what's the sun card here four of cups This person doesn't feel like the magician came out, so I'm sorry. This person does not feel like they're ready to let you know about the emotion that they have. They feel like there's still more that they need to accomplish or build or manifest in their life before they can basically expose the way that they feel about you. Um, Four of Cups energy, you could have felt like they rejected you. So there could have been a situation where you actually offered your cup with the Four of Cups. And this person kind of looked at your cup like it was crazy. Like, what is that? <laughs> you know, like, what is that? Mm -mm. I got these three cups. This is, these are my party cups. These are my fun cups. You're giving me a fourth cup. What am I supposed to do with this? But this is really because this person, they made you feel like you were lacking because they are actually lacking Sagittarius. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. They're also lacking stability as well. Okay, let's see how... The player feels about Sagittarius. How does the player feel about Sagittarius? We got Page of Cups. They want to communicate emotions. Ace of Pentacles. What did I say? You're waiting for this Ace of Pentacles so that you can have Ten of Pentacles. So this is the energy of someone who may come in kind of lighthearted, flirty, not showing their full hand as far as how much they care, but really they have the Ace of Pentacles to make your Nine of Pentacles complete. Look at that. What is this page of pentacles? So, yeah, they want to give this. They want to give this. What's the obstacle? What is the obstacle for the player in Sagittarius? What's the obstacle? Ooh, what the heck? We got the world card. So this could be either a cycle that's closed or something that has happened multiple times between you two. And one of you feel like you're outgrowing this connection. We have the Empress energy also. There could be a child's mother involved, baby mama, ex-wife, wife, spouse. Somebody could be pregnant. There's something like that. I do get more of a past energy. So there may be a baby mama or a mama or a child's mother that you don't know about or something like that. Um, what else? 
their mother. We got the chariot card and the 10 of wands. I do get for some of you, it's their, their mother, um, Sagittarius. That's actually the obstacle. Um, but they do feel divinely guided to you. And even though coming towards you might like shake up the situation with whoever this feminine figure that of importance, because that's what the Empress is, this feminine figure of importance in their life, it might shake them up. They're still going to come towards you. Let's look at this feminine figure. Who is this Empress? Ten of Swords. So yeah, for some of you, it is someone that they've had an ending with. They had a divorce with the end of a relationship, but this person is still in their energy or this person might resurface when they connect to you. We got the four of pentacles here. Yeah, they're holding back from whoever this person is. They're protecting themselves from this person. Three of swords. So there was some type of emotional pain involving this empress energy and the player. And that is what's causing the block. What is the emotional pain? Three of cups. Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, this Empress was or not this Empress, but well, it is Empress. But the feminine energy in this person's past was out partying with others, possible third party situation or just, you know, living their best life. While this masculine was like actually putting in hard work, this person was partying and being reckless and not taking the connection seriously. And that like caused some type of heartbreak in the masculine energy in the player. Seven of Wands and the High Priestess could be dealing with the Pisces. This person, they will persevere past this heartbreak. They will come forward. Let's see what their most likely steps are towards you, Sagittarius, while we wrap this up. What is the player's most likely steps towards... Sagittarius players most likely next steps nine of cups and the hair font seven of swords why is the seven of swords here and the ace of wands this person strategizing on a new start you do make them happy with the nine of cups here again Something about your energy could like revitalize their like faith, hope, like their positive energy, their faith in the divine, their faith in God. It's something about your energy that like awakens them or helps them connect spiritually as well in their in in their distance from you. This is something they have learned. Um, Seven of Swords is the strategy card. This person is trying to figure out how they can have the new beginning with you, Sagittarius. Let's see how my Sagittarius will respond to this love offer from the player. I don't always get that. Hmm. I got six of cups and the eight of wands. Six of cups and the eight of wands. Some of you may course it would have to be complicated some of you may reject this offer at first or it might be your knee-jerk reaction to be like oh hell no like <laughs> we done did this before I have felt pain before blah 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 um and then you may give it some time and come back around and I do get that for some of you you will let the tower fall and you will go towards a connection that does not have so much trauma or drama or bad memories associated with it is something that can give you an equal give and take. So those are the two options. Some of you will circle back to this player. You may reject the player at first and go back. Um, and some of you may just continue to move forward for something that is an equal give and take and a fresh start.